Hey guys, it's Jenks, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on Cinema 4D. I have recently got this software, um, so I'm not the best person at doing it, so if you already know how to use this, then this will probably be not a very good tutorial for you, but for beginners, it's uh, going to be a good tutorial to, on learn how to make 3D text for cinematics for your montages. So, this is basically what the finishing pro product is going to be. It's going to be um, just like that, I Jenks X. Uh, okay, so let's get this underway. I'm going to file new. And what you want to do, you want to go to this little squiggly line up here. And, oh, I click star. You want to go to text. There we go. Now you want to write what you want to say. So I'm going to put uh, test. And the font that I like to use for this, which I think looks best, um, you can use any font, of course, whatever you want for your 3D text. But the font that I like best is, it's called Reboard. It's called Reboard. And there it is. Now, it's a bit close together, so if we go to horizontal spacing, just space it out a bit so it looks better. Like that. Okay. Now what you want to do, you want to come up to this one here and go Extrude NURBS and drag your text into there. Now you'll see it's gone 3D. And what you want to do, you want to go to... Um, you want to click on the extrude nerves, and you want to change the last movement to 80, 80 centimeters. And you want to go onto the caps, start cap, fill it cap, end cap, fill it cap, and uh, you can leave them on five. Now what you want to do, you want to go Control C and then Control V, it's copy and paste. I'm sure you all know how to do that. And then on the new layer, you want to put the radius to 10 on the fill it cap. And 10 again on the end fillet cap. And then you go to object and you want to half this to 40 centimeters. So it's half the size. Uh, now we, are, we have two layers. Um, what you want to do, you want to move the layer that you just duplicated, the smaller one. You want to move the x axis till it's about in the middle of it. In the middle of your text so it looks good. And so there you go. That's basically the text that we've got so far so now if you want to add um, colors to it you want to go on new materials uh, and you want to double click on it you click this one and we'll keep the white we want the front one to be white so what we're going to do is we you, you want to go to reflection and you want to turn the brightness down to 20 percent and then we want to go and then you just want to keep that white, so we'll drag it onto this one, the front one. There we go, so there's, there you go, it's in white now. And so now you want to create a new material. And for this material, you want to, my specular on. You want to make the reflection for this one 20% again. And then you can just choose any colour you want. Uh, the colour I really like that what seems to work well, this is green. Like lime green, so I'm gonna do a nice lime green color, and then you just put that on your text, and there you go. That should look all right now. There we go. Does that look all right to you? Uh, just render that out. There we go. Test. See that looks all right. So yeah, that's how you get your 3D text. Um basic tutorial so what we're going to actually show you how to do is how to render it and put it out over a picture in Sony Vegas so uh, you want your output to be obviously not that you want it to be 128 by 720 128 by 720 pixels and then you want to go to save and you want the file to be a PNG file oh no wait let's just say let's call it test where's the file uh, um, 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 sorry about this. Format. Oh yeah, format. You want to go on the format under the file, and you want to change the PNG. I think this is what seems to be working. It worked for me anyway. So then you got that. You click this big, this middle one here, the orange one, and it will render it. So the test being rendered now, and it's done. So now you can X out Cinema 4D. And you now have your test here. 
So we open Sony Vegas and we can get a cinematic in, which I luckily have because I've just edited a New Year's montage. Um, so let's see. So this looks. So I do. I can't be asked getting rid of the PBR's black lines or anything at the moment. So uh, you want to make sure that um, you have a video track above your um, clip that you imported. So we've got that there. Just a nice little sky standard still. And now you want to go to your go to the thing that you just made, which happens to be where is it? There it is. Test. So you want to go to that, drag that in, import it over your original text. Make sure you import it over, uh, over, uh, a layer above your original video. And now you want to go to video effects because it's all black, obviously. So you want to go to video effects, and this is how I do it. You go to chroma key and green screen. Now what you want to do, you want to drag this thing here to black, right down to the bottom, so it gets rid of all the blackness. And then now you just have test. And then you can just crop it to however you want it, bigger or smaller, whatever you, whatever you think looks good. So if I have that a bit smaller, like that. So say I keep that there. And let's just put this into good quality so you can see it, how it looks. And there we go. That's how you get 3D text onto a cinematic using Cinema 4D. I'm not quite sure how you get it to like look proper 3D. I'm sure you have to do that in After Effects, which I haven't learned yet because I only got the software like a few days ago. So I uh, might have more tu tutorials soon coming the way for Cinema 4D if you guys like this. So yeah, this has been Jenks, and I will see you all later. Peace.